Letter, the Pergerakan Tenagara Academic Malaysia refers to the resignation of UMNO member, Shah Hedan Shah Hedan Ayub Hussein Shah, from University Putra Malaysia's Board of Directors and the Board of UPM Holdings SDN BHD. His resignation letter, addressed to then Higher Education Minister Noraini Ahmed, was dated August 6. Ironically, Noraini also tendered her resignation on the same day. Both resignations are clearly related to the split within UMNO and the decision by the party bigwigs to withdraw support for Prime Minister Mahyuddin Yassin's fast-crumbling Perakatan national regime. Politically, Shah Hedan's decision to resign from the UPM board may be seen as a principled one. Either that or he was left with little option. Nonetheless, for Gerak, it sends a disconcerting message about how our public universities are tied to politics and politicians. Shah Hedan said, proudly, no doubt, that his decision was made out of a sense of duty to his party. How noble, but what about his duty to the university? Surely he must have understood that his appointment to the UPM board was to advance the interests and purposes of the university and that these do not run parallel to his party's purpose or objectives. In this regard, it is appalling and a disgrace that people in power in politics seem to show no commitment to any public purpose and are locked simply into their petty political ends. This follows hard on the heels of an expose in June by opposition politician Nick Nazmi Nick Ahmed that no less than 13 political appointments, like Shah Hedan's, had been made by the PN regime within the past year. That is about one appointment a month. Of course, this doesn't take into account other types of high-level appointments. This disgusting practice must stop, by whoever taking over the reins of political power. Gerak observes that we may have our own version of Nero fiddling right now, as the pandemic takes more lives and our public health system finds it has its back to the wall. Nonetheless, we in Gerak believe that this provides us, and whoever takes over from here, the opportunity, indeed the duty and obligation, to rid ourselves of this revolting practice of political appointments in public universities. They serve no academic and intellectual purpose. Like the many political appointments to government-linked companies they are made to reward the party faithful and line their pockets. The above is issued by the Pergerakan Tenaga Academic Malaysia Exco. The views expressed here are those of the author, contributor and do not necessarily represent the views of Malaysia Kini.